is Greg, the Uber driver. Today is Saturday, September 23rd, and I'm gonna show a video about an alligator that was found in Largo in Pinellas County in Florida, and it had a torso in its mouth of a person. And um, I'll let you watch the video and you'll see, and they don't know a lot yet. They don't know if the alligator killed the person or the person was dead. Someone else had killed the person and the alligator ate part of the person. They don't know, but it's, um, you'll have to watch the video. So here it is. First on Fox, a gruesome discovery in Pinellas County where witnesses found this almost 14 foot gator with a body in its mouth this afternoon. This happened in the Ridgecrest community along 134th Street near Olmerton Road. Fox 13's Justin Matthews is out there live for us tonight. And Justin, I know you've been out there all afternoon. You actually spoke to a witness who saw this and went to get help. What did he have to say? Yeah, it's a terrifying story. The witness I spoke to says he saw this gator in the water, ran to this fire station behind me, not too far. It's only about 400 feet from where he saw that huge, huge alligator. I was on my way to a job interview, and I was always looking to the lake just, you know, for fish and stuff, and I, I spotted the gator. Jamarcus Bullard says he took a good look at it and noticed something was in the gator's mouth. I noticed it had a body in its mouth, like a lower torso, so once I saw that, I ran straight to the fire department and got them. They confirmed there was a body. Bullard says seeing something like that is surreal and tragic. I thought it was fake. It was my first time seeing a gator in real life as well, so I was just like, it was pretty cool, but like once I saw what it had, I was like, is that like a mannequin body? It, it looked it like it was pale and white. After alerting the fire department, dozens of Pinellas County Sheriff's deputies and FWC officers got to the scene. A huge response along 134th Street North off of Olmerton Road in Largo. Sky Fox overhead showing a large alligator on the ground. Investigators looking for answers. All of this in close proximity to a head start and a boys and girls club. All I keep thinking about is like all these little kids that go to school right behind me and they come this way every single day. Others who live nearby say they've seen some small alligators in the area before, but nothing quite like this. And in a place where there are a lot of pedestrians. I mean, that it could have been anybody, you know. It's scary to think about. And Bullard says, with gators around, he's not going to be doing much walking in his neighborhood anymore. I'm going to get me a bike or start catching a bus to work. Because, I mean, it's, it's, they don't have any gates or anything like that. They got small little like gates, but somebody dies. Yeah, and the FWC confirmed tonight that the alligator is just under 14 feet long, as you heard, and it was uh, killed humanely. The agency says a body was found in the waterway with the gator, but the FWC isn't saying anything about who this victim is and if that uh, that body has anything to do with uh, the alligator, if, if the alligator actually killed a person. That is still uh, to be determined tonight. Reporting live in Largo, Justin Matthews, Fox 13 News.